Hey Trisha, okay, let's take a look at this one. So we have 9 equals 1 half ax, so we're solving for a. So there are two things that are messing up this a. The one is this 1 half in front, and the other is the x that's multiplying it. Um, and that's a 9, not an a. So let's do the fraction first. And we could do this in one step, but for, for now let's show it as a two-step problem. Anytime you have a fraction, <coughs> you want to multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction to clear the fraction. So here I'm going to multiply this side by 2. Essentially this 2 is dividing. Another way to have written that would have been ax over 2. So since that 2 is underneath, I'm multiplying to get rid of it. So on this side there's that same 18 that you got. And then these cancel. If it helps, you can think of that as 2 over 1. And so 2 over 2 just makes an ax now. And since I want to get a by itself, now I have to get rid of this x here, and the x is multiplying. And so you just have to think, if the x was adding, I would subtract. If the x was subtracting, I would add. If the x is multiplying, its <coughs> inverse operation to that would be to divide it. So we're going to divide the x on both sides. And the reason is we, now these cancel, and we're left with that a all by itself, and then that other side is our, our solution. So 18 over x would equal a. So just remember, addition and subtraction go together. So when you see addition, you subtract. When you see subtraction, you add. And then multiplication and division go together. So when you have division, you would multiply. And when you have multiplication, you would divide. Um, on that division idea, let me rewrite this and just show it in a different way here. Um, another way of if I multiply that 1 half through, then you can kind of see that that 2 is um, in the denominator and it's dividing. And so if you go back, what I did was I multiplied to undo that division. And then since this x was multiplying, that's the one where we divided to undo that. If I wanted to think of this as a one-step problem, I could also right here just multiply by the reciprocal. So the, I need the 2's to cancel and I need the x's to cancel. 2's canceling and x's canceling. Those are gone, those are gone, and then there's our 2 times 9, because that's like 9 over 1, so there's that same 18 over x equals a. So you could do the multiply both sides by 2x, get it all done in one step, and as you're first learning this, that's generally not terribly comfortable, so I would, if I had a fraction out front like that, I would clear that fraction out of the way first. Um, just so you can kind of see what, what you have left here. And then remember, this is the key. Since it's a multiply, you know you're going to divide. Um, hopefully that helped. Let me know if you have more further questions.